Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how to upload an image to Event Gallery and then share the image using a QR code that displays on the screen right after the session is complete. So this requires Event Gallery, Darkroom Booth 3, and an internet connection. You don't need to uh, type in your phone number or email address. It is the best user experience by far that I have seen and I want to share it with you. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I will show you how to get this all set up. So I have a uh, four by six um, print with three images on it. I have it set to take one picture and you'll see why in just a second. Um, it's mainly just to save some time. But the main thing is um, we're uploading to Event Gallery and we need to find out where on Event Gallery we're going to be uploading. So we're going to check both of these boxes and the reason why you want to have both of these checked is if you don't have the date checked, it will create a new gallery the next day that you upload it. So you want to make sure that that link stays the same. So both options checked and click OK and um, we'll go ahead and just take a quick picture and have it upload. Okay, so that should send up to our gallery. Let's go ahead and exit booth and test that out. Go ahead and refresh. It's probably taking just a second, but here we go. Okay, so uh, we want to grab the link from the client site. We're going to uh, select the gallery and the image and right here this is the link that we want but let's test it out first just to make sure everything's working right. I'm going to type in this file name right here img oops, underscore 0001 dot jpg and there is my image and that's what we want to share. So we're going to copy everything before the file name and switch back over to our um, darkroom booth and we're going to create a brand new template based on our screen size. So my screen is 1080 by 1920. I'm going to go ahead and give it a descriptive name, a QR demo. Screen. Oh, it's not a screen. This is a uh, slideshow, and I'm gonna just put a one to make it easy to find when we're looking for it. Okay, so I have a little bit of artwork that I've added, uh, or that I created in Photoshop that I'm gonna go ahead and add. Um, and this kind of. Uh, this can all be done within Darkroom, the actual uh, design uh, layout, but Photoshop helps for design. If you kind of think about um, Bob Ross style, this would be our happy little cloud or happy little tree, just to make it look a little bit nicer. So uh, this graphic, right, this close button doesn't do anything, uh, but when you touch the screen, it exits the, slide the slideshow. So that's why I've added that, just to encourage people to touch the, the button or the screen to exit. Um, so we are going to now add our barcode. I clicked add barcode. I'm going to paste in that web address and I'm going to click insert special text and select file name. That way it'll update with each file. And there's a little space right here we'll want to delete. Okay, so this code is going to update with that uh, the prefix of the website where the image is hosted and then uh, it'll update with the file name each time. Um, and next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add a photo right here just so in case somebody uh, it takes a little bit longer to refresh the slideshow and, um, that they know that it is not their image and wait until their image pops up then the QR code will update itself as well. So. I think we are good there. I'm going to go ahead and save as. And now 
we're going to reselect our print template because we don't want to print this out. We want uh, um, we want to actually print a nice one without the, the QR code. That's just for the slideshow. Okay, we'll go ahead and update it with three images. Um, switch to slideshow and click custom, enable slideshow. And I'm using it in attract mode, so it's going to show up on the same screen right after. But if you wanted to use a secondary screen, you can have it, the image go to the secondary screen and they can scan it outside of the booth. So what really makes this work is um, I have it set to um, the transition to none and it's refreshing, but it's only refreshing the last one image. So every time it updates, it just updates with the last image and that's what causes it to show up in the slideshow as a single image. So uh, if you want to look at the settings that I have right here, just kind of get an idea of how I have it set up. Um, and then I'm going to click uh, show output image um, and then I'm going to add the template that we just created. Um, there we go. You can see I've already done this once. And so now when we start up the booth, it's going to take three images and this is where you can play along at home. Um, this should all happen live. I've just configured it right now. So when it takes these uh, these pictures, it'll then show the slideshow with the updated image. And um, you can use your phone and test it out yourself. Okay, so now it should enter into the slideshow. I hope you have your phone ready and you can give it a shot. If you hold up using the camera app, you should see an option to go to that link. And there it is. There is the image hosted on uh, Event Gallery with the options to share on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, or download and save or email whatever you want to do but we're gonna take this just a little step further we're gonna make this look nice on the phone as well so let's go ahead and exit here and switch over to event gallery and um, let's see we're gonna go to the admin side click on the little sprocket one of the things that I've learned specifically for my phone, it might be different for your phone in the re different resolutions, that if I remove some of these extra things right here, I'll try to show it the best I can. There are some extra stuff at the very top. Um, the uh, date, it's the gallery name, the author. Um, that's all not really that important to me. I'm going to go ahead and change that and I'm going to update this little logo with my web address so they click on it they take go to my website rather than to the event gallery or to the gallery itself uh, so HTTP there's my website and another thing that I've noticed if you scroll down and if you're working along with me you might see on your end that you have some extra uh, icons that just don't fit very well I don't personally use, and this is not something that's widely used in the U.S. Outside of the U.S. it is pretty common, but the WhatsApp app. Uh, so I can, you can enable or disable different options that you want to have. So now when we click save, and all we have to do is refresh, and you've already seen the updated version because I've done this in the future while you're watching it in the past. But now it has those icons along the bottom nice and clean and a simple logo at the top when I tap on that logo it goes to my website while I was working putting this all together I thought this was just the easiest and most user way a user-friendly way to share by far than I've seen out there and it's just one of those things that I had to 
share with the world as quickly as possible. I hope this is helpful. Hopefully it makes your business and your life just a little bit easier and your customers as well. I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.